Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a beautiful scoop neck sweater. This sweater is one of my favorite sweater design. I love it so much. And I also have written pattern uh, with size extra small to double XL. It's available for purchase on my Etsy shop and my Ravelry store. And I will put all the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy! For this project, I'm using line brand CC Twist. It is 3.5 ounces, 100 gram, 246 yards, and 225 meter per each skin. And it is size 4 medium yarn. 100% acrylic. And here is the color. And I will put all the detail in description below. Please go check that out. And I bought five skins of this yarn. And I used almost the whole five skin. I just have a little bit left. Okay. And crochet hook size five millimeters. Scissors, yarn needle, some stitch marker. Okay. Okay, before we start, I just want to talk about the uh, pattern a little bit. So we're going to make four separate pieces, which is back panel, front panel, and two sleeve. Okay, so for the back and front panel, I make the same. And then we're going to start make the chain at the bottom here. And then the chain that you make going to be the width of the sweater. And the row that you make gonna be the length of this sweater. Okay, and then after we have two panel, we're gonna make the sleeve. And the sleeve, I make the same. And for the sleeve, we're gonna start make the chain here. This side, you see this red line? We're gonna make the chain here and then make the row back and forth. That's gonna be the cuff. Okay, and after that, we're gonna turn this way and then continue making the sleeve and I will show you exactly how I do it okay this is some idea <laughs> okay so for this sweater I design the sleeve is not too long okay if you want longer sleeve you just keep repeating more rows and I will tell you exactly how can you repeat more rows okay and after we have four pieces here we're gonna uh, so the back panel and the front panel together at the shoulder seam here. And then we will leave the uh, neck hole open. Alright, and then after that, we're going to bring the sleeve, put them in the middle of the shoulder seam. And then sew this part and, show, uh, and sew this part as well. Okay, and after that, we're going to fold the sweater in half and then we will sew on the side of the sweater all the way up till we reach the armpit here and then continue sewing the sleeve all the way down till we reach the end of the cuff same with this side sew the, uh, the side of the sweater till we reach the armpit and continue sewing all the way down till we reach the end of the cuff okay and when I sew I gonna sew on the wrong side and for this tutorial gonna be part one I gonna show you how to make this panel so let's like say front and back panel I make the same I just gonna show you how to make this one panel because you make exactly the same okay this gonna be part one I gonna show you guys how to make one panel and then for part two I will show you how to make the sleeve and then how to sew all the pieces together all right so good luck okay like i said the front and the back panel we're gonna make exactly the same so i already have one panel here it doesn't matter which one you want to be the front or the back it's we're gonna make exactly the same okay i just want to show you guys what it look like So it look like 
Okay, let's get started. Okay, to start, I'm gonna make slip knot. And I'm gonna make 73 chains. So this pattern is multiple of two plus three. Okay, if you want uh, bigger, wider, you add more chains. If you want smaller, you make less chain. But make sure you will have a uh, multiple of two plus three. Okay, so multiple of two plus three, uh, some people don't know. So you're gonna make two chain, two chain, two chain, two chain till you have your desired length, and then you're gonna add three more chain at the end. That is multiple of two plus three. Okay, so for me, I make 73 chains. Make sure I don't make your chain too tight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, keep making the chain and I will meet you guys back in when I have 73 chains. Now I have 73 chains. Okay, so row one, gonna be the wrong side. We're gonna skip three chain stitch and then one double crochet into the fourth chain stitch from the hook. Okay, so just skip one, two, and three, and double crochet into the next chain, which is the fourth chain from the hook, okay? I like to go in the little bump on the back of the chain stitch. You also can go into the normal chain stitch as well, whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert the hook into the fourth chain, and I go into the little bump on the back of the chain stitch here. Oops, and then pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So the three chain that we skip is count as one double crochet. So now we have two double crochet. Okay, and then we're gonna make one double crochet into each chain stitch across. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain stitch. I'm gonna go into the little bump on the back here. And make a double crochet. Repeat that, yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have four. Yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Now we have five. Just gonna repeat in that. Okay. The reason I go into the little uh, the little bump on the back of the chain stitch, it'll give me very nice edge here. That's why I like to go in there. Okay, keep making one double crochet into each chain stitch across till you reach the end of row one and I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row one here and I have 71 double crochet stitches. Includes the first three chain that we skip. Okay, includes that chain, I have 71 double crochet and you want to have an odd number so row two gonna be the right side I'm gonna chain three and then turn the chain three count as one double crochet you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across so we're gonna make a double crochet into next stitch here okay so the very first stitch it belong to the first three chain because we count the first three chain as one double crochet so we're gonna insert the hook into next stitch here okay so yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop make a double crochet now we have two double crochet repeat that yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet now we have three and repeat that yarn over insert the hook and make a double crochet Yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch, and make a double crochet. See, same pat, uh, same stitch. You're just gonna keep make one double crochet into each stitch across, and I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two here, and I haven't made the last stitch yet. I just wanna show you guys. Sometimes it's difficult to see. See. So the last stitch that we're gonna make a double crochet into is gonna be the third chain. 
that when we skip when we start row one okay you can turn here as well you can see this uh, V shape which is the third chain so we're gonna yarn over insert the hook into the third chain pull up a loop and make a last double crochet that's what it look like and row two I have the same 71 double crochet stitches so make sure to count your stitches so you're not increase or decrease by accident so now row three to row five we're gonna repeat row two which is chain three count as one double crochet and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then make one double crochet into each stitch across so you on over insert the hook into the next stitch here pull up a loop and make a double crochet now we have two double crochet and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet repeat that yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet see the same pattern pretty easy all right like i said row three to row five repeat row two and make sure to count your stitches every row okay and when you reach the end of row three make sure to make the last stitch, the last double crochet stitch into the third chain stitch, okay? Don't skip that, okay? It's very easy to miss. So that's why I want you guys to count your stitches. All right, so I gonna repeat row two till I reach the end of row five and I will meet you guys back in. Now I have five rows here, okay? So for row six, we gonna chain three. And then it's count as one double crochet and then turn and then we're gonna make a bead stitch so we're gonna make uh, the bead stitch into the next stitch here okay so for the bead stitch you're gonna make a double crochet first so you on over insert the hook into next stitch here pull up a loop make a double crochet and then we're gonna Yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch here. Uh, behind this post. Okay, let me show you. So yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. We're gonna do that two more times. So yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the second time, and you will have five loops on your hook. One more time. Yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the third time, and you will have seven loops on your hook. Okay, and then you're gonna yarn over, pull through six loops. The first six loops. All right. So I'm going to yarn over and I turn my hook facing down a little bit so it's easier to pull the yarn through. Pull out six loops. Oops. This part can be a little difficult, okay? Takes a little practice. That's what it looks like. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. This is the bead stitch. So the double crochet stitch and then the yarn over insert the hook around the post three times is count as one bead stitch. Alright, so we're gonna skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next here. So I yarn over, skip one and insert the hook into the next and make a double crochet first. And then we're gonna yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You're gonna do that three times. So this first time, yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the second time, and then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the third time, and you will have seven loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through six loops. So. Yarn over, pull through six loops. Yeah, okay. 
and it's gonna yarn over pull through the last two loops so it looks like so now we have two bead stitches so we're gonna repeat that skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next so yarn over skip this one insert the hook into this one pull up a loop and make a double crochet first and then yarn over insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch yarn over pull up a loop this is the first time we do that sorry we do that three times and then yarn over insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch yarn over pull up a loop this is the second time and then yarn over insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch yarn over pull up a loop this is the third time and you will have seven loops on your hook you're gonna yarn over and pull through the first six loops like so and then yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook so now we have three bead stitches we're gonna repeat that okay so skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next so yarn over insert the hook okay do the same thing and yarn over insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch one two and three and you will have seven loops on the hook yarn over and pull through six loops oops like so and then yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook now we have four we're just gonna repeat that i show you one more time skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next Yarn over, insert the hook. Okay. And then yarn over, insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch three times. So this is one, two, and three. See? You will have seven loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through six loops. Sorry, you will have seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first six loops. Or we do the same. Yarn over, turn your hook a little bit. This part is can be a little bit difficult, so sometimes I like to hold right here to control the stitches. Whatever is work for you. See, like so. Like so. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Oh, I might have to fit that. See, this is because of your tension. So sometimes you... Uh, hold the yarn too tight or too loose that's what just happened like this so i will fix that anyway you can uh, keep doing that skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next and keep repeating that over and over till you reach the end but i'm gonna make the last bead stitch with you okay all right now we're gonna make the last bead stitch together we do the same skip next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next here okay yarn over skip this one insert the hook into the next make a double crochet first and then yarn over insert the hook around the post of double crochet stitch three times do the same okay seven loops on my hook yarn over and pull through uh, six loops seven loops on my hook I'm gonna yarn over and pull through six loops and yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook so it's look like and now we're gonna make one double crochet into the last stitch which is the third chain stitch don't forget that it's very difficult to see see you can't even tell sometime right so you're gonna make the last double crochet into the third chain all right and yarn over insert the hook into the third chain here up a loop and make the last double crochet see that's what it looks like so when we start we have a three chain here count as one double crochet and then um, we have a bead stitch into the next stitch we not skip the stitch in between that right when we start and then when we end we have a bead stitch here and then we have a double crochet into the last stitch which is next stitch we not 
uh, we don't skip any stitch in between that. So we start the same in the same. All right. And the end of row six, I have total of 35 bead stitches. All right. And now row seven, we're going to chain three. Count as one double crochet and then turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then we're just going to make one double crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left at the end. Okay, so now you can turn a little bit and you can see the V shape. That's the uh, stitch that we're going to insert the hook into. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch here. Like I said, the very first stitch is belong to the third chain that we did. So we're not going to insert the hook into that one. We're going to insert the hook into the next. So yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet. And then yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch here. And make a double crochet. Repeat that. Yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch. And make a double crochet. Keep repeating that into each stitch. Okay. You're going to keep make one double crochet into each stitch. Till you have two stitches left at the end. And I will meet you guys back in. I'm at the end of row 7 here and I have 2 stitches left. So you see this is the next stitch and then this is the last stitch. So the last stitch is going to be the third chain. You have to count the third chain as one stitch. Okay, so I have 2 stitches left at the end of row 7. And now we're going to skip the next stitch and then make 1 double crochet into the last stitch which is the third chain stitch. Okay, so yarn over. Skip this stitch and insert the hook into the third chain. Pull up a loop and make a double crochet. See, that's what it looks like. So, this is very important part. You have to skip one stitch after the row that you make the bead stitch. Otherwise, you're going to increase. Okay, this is how bead stitch work. All right, and now I want you to count your stitches. Make sure that you have the same amount of the double crochet stitches down here. Okay, so I have 71 double crochet stitches here. I should have 71 double crochet stitches in row seven as well. All right, so I already know that I have 71 double crochet stitches on row seven, so I'm good. And then now, we're going to repeat row 2 to row 7, 6 more times. And you will have total of 43 rows. Okay? But if you want longer than that, you keep repeating row 2 to row 7 more than 6 more times. Okay? For, for this sweater, I made a uh, total of seven repeat so now i have one repeat here so i gonna make six more repeat all right so i just want to show you here so see this is the one repeat here and then this is the second repeat third repeat fourth fifth sixth seven okay so i have total of seven repeat so i need to make six more repeat do exactly the same everything the same so now row eight we repeat row two right uh, which is chain three and turn and then make one double crochet into each stitch pause so yarn over insert the hook into next stitch here now we're repeating row two so just make a double crochet. It's a very easy pattern. See? That's what it looks like. And then the end of each row, I recommend you guys to count your stitches. Okay, so make sure that you're okay, you're not increase or decrease. And yeah, everything you're gonna do the same. Repeat the same every details exactly the same 
and yeah also don't forget the row that you repeat row 7 don't forget to skip one step at the end all right it's very important part and yeah I just gonna keep repeating row 2 to row 7 six more times and I will meet you guys back in and yeah good luck okay now I repeat row 2 to row 7 six more times already and I have total of 43 rows this is the end of row 43 okay that's what it looks like and then for row 44 we gonna make we gonna repeat row 2 which is make one double crochet into each stitch across just one more row okay so I just gonna chain three this is row uh, 44 okay and then I turn and then the first three chains count as one double crochet and then make one double crochet into each stitch across so I gonna yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch here and make a double crochet and now we have two double crochet and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and make a double crochet just keep making one double crochet into each stitch across all right and I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of row 44 I'm at the end of row 44 here and I have 71 double crochet stitches the same okay and then this is the last stitch of row 44 don't forget to make the last stitch into the third chain okay and then I just gonna cut the yarn and I leave about 14 inches tail to to sew the shoulder from the back and front panel together just enough to sew that part so I just gonna leave about 14 inches and also good to get uh, some extra tail better than you don't have enough oops okay and then I just put the yarn out that's it all right and then you're gonna make one more panel exactly the same so like I said back panel and front panel let's make exactly the same so we have uh, so we need two of this okay and then when you have two of this next we're gonna make the uh, sleeves and I will show you how to make the sleeve and then how to sew all the pieces together in the part two okay and I will see you in the part two